Hello. Hello. How are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> you know the answer. I don't know. I got. I want sleep. You want to sleep? I got sleep. <laughs> I have no idea. Right. Yeah. Because an uh, MMA fighter knocked him down, you real boxer, yeah, listen, you can do more. Uh, it's world champion MMA. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's a hard punch. Mm. But the element surprise. Maybe Dyson Fury not serious. Oh, it's a May fighter, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Like Were you surprised by the knockdown? For me? Yeah, yeah of course it's a surprise. Yeah. Was there a worried? small part of you that was worried that At the fight might be I'm watching a, yeah. like, yeah. Uh, uh, knockdown, I say. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, 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 whoa, <laughs> whoa, Francis, be careful, please. Yeah. yeah. I say, Tyson, jab, jab, move, jab. I say. Stop video, please. <laughs> Thanks, Isaac. Let's go. 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 let us go I don't know, maybe, maybe he, he didn't have a good training camp. I don't know what happened with him. I didn't follow him, what he did in training camp. But uh, good, he win, and we could see the fight with Usyk and Yuri. How do you see the fight now going, now that you've been able to see Usyk's performance a few months ago and Tyson's performance tonight? For today, I see, of course, uh, Usyk is the uh, favorite. Uh, He's faster, he's using more punches. Uh, he punch on the on the body a lot. It's good. Uh, but how tough it was to get through from We don't know what to expect from, from Tyson, you know? He could be lazy, lazy, and then he used his speed. Surprising everyone. And we don't know what, what will be in the in the fight against Tusik. If he's in the best shape, it's a great fight. If uh, he's like this, and it's better for Usi. So, what's, what's happening with you at the moment? Um, it looks like Canelo has fights lined up, so it doesn't look like the rematch is going to happen. I saw that you faced up with better BF. Yeah, yeah. yeah? So, so, what's going on with you? Uh, about Canelo, I, everyone asking me, <laughs> except him, you know, about fight. And uh, I don't see this fight in the soon future. Uh, now I see more. I see closest fight with against Bitter B. Right. That's one of the reasons why we're here today. I think, I think this is the place. It's big fight. So what kind of discussions were had? Because obviously they faced off together. There's been that, that has nothing to do with that. That was just a press face off. Okay. There's been some discussions here about the, the fight possibly happening here next year. Oh, here in Saudi Arabia. Okay. Yes. What do you make of the, the whole this whole atmosphere, the, the the concert, and what Saudis are doing for boxing currently? What's your thoughts on that? It's amazing. It's, I love this sport. It's my favorite sport. And they support boxing. Thank, thank you, Saudi. Thank you, Turkey, that you support boxing. And uh, it's great. What do you think it says about what the Saudis are currently doing and, and sort of the, sh the exit of showtime on the scene and how everything's sort of shifting? It's evolving at the moment. I'm not sure it's because of the quality of boxing. I think it's just time changing. Um, maybe it's more, you know, internet platforms like Dozen and uh, Netflix and things like this. Yeah, streaming. Yeah, streaming. I think because of this. And, uh, Thank you so much. I go stay. There we go, it's a cool music. Okay. <laughs> That's Thank it. you so much for your time, I appreciate it, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to see that mega fight made here in Saudi Arabia. I hope so. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations on the How did you have a fight? I had
had it close. I thought I thought Tyson Fury edged it out. But man, I was so impressed with Nagano being his first time in a boxing ring. He can do that again. I mean, he showed up. He can do that again. He didn't panic. He wasn't really throwing punches all out of, you know, wow. He was controlled. He was poised. He had a game plan. He worked his game plan, but just was a little bit inactive when he was just pressing. Wasn't able to get his offense off. And Tyson boxed him like he should have boxed him. But he got careless in there and got dropped, you know. Could have probably went seen a 12 round fight. I, I think Tyson win, but he got to get he got to go back to the drawing board if he want to beat uh my man Use. Because a performance like this, I'm not sure that gets it done. Because Use would have been a, a lot more effective moving forward. It's been almost a year since Tyson has fought. Do you feel like yeah, yeah, could have been a little yep. And again, I don't think he took this fight deadly serious until he had something to fight for when they signed that big contract. So I'm thinking we didn't see the best Tyson Fury tonight, but he handled himself. I didn't like to see him get knocked down. I knew this guy had that type of power. I love to see Nagano against a guy like Derek Shashora or something like that. Uh, I don't know if he's ready for that yet, but I tell you what, I know Deontay don't want to get hit with that. He don't want to get hit with that type of natural power. I don't know. Um, that'll be a good one, but I think I think with, with uh, Wilder's experience, with his punching power, yeah, it could be dynamite on both ends, you know? It's definitely been a win for the MMA community in just that regard, even though Nagano isn't walking away with the win. Um, but, yeah, he definitely showed up tonight. Yeah, he did show up, and I think it was uh, a moral victory. It was definitely a moral victory. Yeah. All right, thank you for your time. No problem. Thank you. All right, so Francis Ngannou just did some unreal shit. <laughs> and you know you boys got to react to it. I mean, wow. Home on a Saturday, get to watch a fight like that. The lineal heavyweight champion in the world. Francis lost a split decision. Only thing lost tonight was boxing. Because, But Francis Ngannou showed that he's real. Make sure you guys tap in. In the next hour, I'm going to have that video up on my YouTube channel. I'll pop that link in my bio. Let's go. How are you feeling right now? Uh, Joseph, uh, Tyson Fury pulled off the win tonight. Um, what was your thoughts overall on his performance against Ngannou? I think everyone underestimated Ngannou's boxing ability. And Tyson came out strong, but got pulled for good shot behind the uh, mountain area. So Francis deserves a lot more credit for the display he put on tonight. And Tyson got the win, but very close. Close to that bit, we thought it was, yeah. From one boxer to another now, Ngannou, this has been his first fight in the boxing ring. Do you feel like he sort of sent a message to either like yourself and the other heavyweights that he's here? He's here, he put on a good performance, and I guess if he wants to continue boxing, he can be involved in some bigger, big fights, yeah. that's the biggest he gets, they can be involved in other big fights, and he's had a good display and credit to him and his team, uh, but great that Tyson got the win. Right, and we're about to get the Undisputed officially announced in just a few moments, how excited are you for that? I'm very excited, I think everyone, this is what everyone wants to see, Undisputed, the best in the game, so once they announce it, all off them, let's get ready to go. Come on, you just beat the best boxer. I saw that. Bro. Come on, you just want to fight. You beat the guy. You beat the guy. Amazing, bro. Amazing. Shannon, how did you see the fight? Ah, uh, I was surprised. I thought Tyson would have, you know. But you know what? This guy's tougher than we thought, man. And plus, as the fight went on, you can see he was cold. You know, he kept his poise. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Do you feel like um, Francis has gone to sort of set a statement for the rest of the heavyweights in the division? A hundred percent. All MMA guys, they think they got a shot now. But Rampage Jackson, you ain't going to be that lucky. <laughs> Let's go, champ. Listen, can I be honest with you? Uh, everything was great. The show was great. The opening, the, 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 some of the fight on the undercut was okay. 
uh, the Tyson and Garner fight was not the icing on the cake we wanted. You know, it was not a great fight. You know, so um, that Tyson will be doubting himself now and stuff like that, but it was not a great fight. Do you feel that the split decision was um, the right decision? Of course, they need that because they need Tyson to fight you six by end of, by end of, by end of December. You know, Ingano Ingano won today. Even if he didn't raise his hand today, Ingano won today. He came, he boxed, he was tired, he hold on into that, he chucked what he had to chuck, he survived, it was great, he won. You know, from a guy who's done MMA, who hasn't boxed MMA for about a year now, trained by Mike Tyson, comes here, boxed, survive you know you did better than me i think <laughs> how do you think that he, he does now do you feel like ingano now has that confidence to remain in the heavyweight division and continue on boxing or do you feel like he needs to be stronger yeah yeah yes 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 now yes that's gonna figure it out now if you want to stay in heavyweight game or not we don't know okay thank you thank you